This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at the reaction quotient Q. The value of the reaction quotient Q tells us in which direction the reaction will proceed to reach equilibrium. It is expressed with non-equilibrium concentrations. Here we can see the expression for the reaction quotient Q for the above reaction. Similar to the expression for the equilibrium constant Kc, we have the products in the numerator and the reactants in the denominator. The difference between the two is that the reaction quotient Q is expressed with non-equilibrium concentrations of reactants and products. Once the value of the reaction quotient Q is equal to the equilibrium constant Kc, the reaction is at equilibrium. So next we look at some examples. Here we have the equation for the Haber process in which nitrogen and hydrogen react together to form ammonia. The value of the equilibrium constant Kc is 6.09 at 350 degrees C. In this table we have the concentrations at time t for the reactants and products. Next we'll input the values into the expression for the reaction quotient Q. This gives us a value of the reaction quotient Q of 2.26. If we compare the value of the reaction quotient Q with the equilibrium constant Kc, we can see that Q is less than Kc, therefore the reaction will proceed to the right to increase the value of Q. Next, we'll calculate the value of the reaction quotient Q for the same reaction at a different point in time. So once again in the table, we have the concentrations of the reactants and products at time t. When we input these values into the expression for the reaction quotient Q, we get a value of 14.5. If we compare the value of the reaction quotient Q with the equilibrium constant Kc, we can see that Q is greater than Kc, so the reaction will proceed to the left to decrease the value of Q. So let's end with a summary. If the value of the reaction quotient Q is greater than the value of the equilibrium constant Kc, the reaction will proceed to the left, which is the reactant side, and the value of the reaction quotient Q will decrease. If Q is less than Kc, the reaction will proceed to the right, that's the product side, and the value of the reaction quotient Q will increase. And finally, if the value of the reaction quotient Q is equal to the value of the equilibrium constant Kc, then the reaction is at equilibrium.